Hello friends, welcome back to all about structural analysis and uh, design. So in my previous video, I have shown you one of the type of analysis of singly reinforced beam in which you are supposed to find out the moment. Okay, so this video is about another type of analysis of singly reinforced beam in which you have to calculate effective depth and the area of steel. So the problem statement is like this determine the effective depth required and the area of steel for a rectangular beam having width 300 mm to resist ultimate moment of 200 kilonewton meter using m20 grade of concrete and fe415 steel so in this problem you need to find out small d and ast that is area of steel okay and the given data is width they have given small b that is 300 mm and uh, ultimate moment that is mu 200 kilo newton meter fck m20 and fe415 so the first step okay or uh, the basic uh, sorry the first step uh, in my lectures of rcc will be to write down the given data so the given data is uh, first they have given width so b equal to 300 mm then ultimate moment okay so mu they have given mu 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 equal to 200 kilo newton meter which is equal to 200 into 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter so when you convert kilo newton meter to newton millimeter we should multiply into 10 raised to 6 okay then uh, fck they have given fck equal to 20 newton per mm square then fy 415 newton per mm square so this is the given data what is required to be calculated is d that is effective depth and ast so these are the two quantities you need to find out okay so how to find out so first we shall find out the effective depth that is small d so for that thing you need to have is 456 2000 again okay last uh, analysis problem i have told you uh, which is this uh, code okay exclusively we use for rcc uh, design okay so in this code rectangular sections page number 96 that also you have to remember page number on page number 96 they have given section without compression reinforcement section without compression reinforcement is nothing but your singly reinforced beam and in that there are three formulas a b c so you have to see from which formula you can find out d so first formula you cannot find out d because x u is again uh, unknown then you can uh, see the next formula in this formula there are two unknowns d okay and ast so this also you cannot use so come back to this uh, third formula okay mu limit in this only d is missing and you can find out this d okay and this xu max by d value you can get it from page number 70 from the same code book is 456 okay and uh, this xu max by d uh, you have to substitute and you have to get the answer d and uh, one more thing is in the problem they have given mu limit okay uh, sorry mu they have given and in this formula mu limit so m in place of mu limit you have to substitute mu and then calculate the d required okay so we'll write down this formula first mu is equals to from page number 96 is 456 2000 then uh, this formula mu is equals to 0.36 xu max by d 1 minus 0.42 xu max by d bd square efck okay so this x u max by d value you can find out from page number 70 now from page 70 is 456 2000 so again you have to go back to same code 
okay and uh, page number 70 you have to go so this is your page number 70 okay so i'm uh, just letting holding this uh, book little cross so on page number 70 you can get these values okay so the fy values are there 250 415 and 500 and corresponding xu max by d value also they have given so the given steel in this problem is 415 so you the xu max uh, by d value is 0.48 so this value you have to take so it is uh for i will mention here fe 415 xu max by d equals to 0.48 okay and then you have to substitute in this formula one more simplification i will show after substituting this 0.48 in this equation so the simplified version of that above formula you will be like this zero, uh, mu is equals to 0.138 fck bd square so this is the formula simplified version of the above formula valid only for fe 415 so if you use 500 then corresponding xu max by d you have to substitute and you have to get the corrected uh, or uh, simplified version of this formula so in this uh, next analysis problem i will show you with fe 500 and also with fe 250 how to calculate this simplified or uh, what is the value of this simplified formula so this value or this formula we have got and now we have to substitute so mu value is 200 kilonewton meter so i will substitute here 200 into 10 raised to 6 why i am substituting in newton millimeter because fck is in newton per millimeter square b is in millimeter so we can find out this d in also in millimeters so 200 into 10 raised to 6 equals to 0 0.138 fck is 20 b is uh, 300 and this one d square now d square equals to 200 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 0 0.138 into 20 into 300 so now this will become uh, 2415 45.89 okay so again uh, this uh, will become d is equals to square root of 2415 45.89 so when you solve this you will be getting d equals to 491.4 491.4 Four, seven, which is approximately d equals to 492 m okay so you can just make a box for this particular value so it means that this 200 kilonewton meter for this moment the required effective depth is 492 mm so the uh, 492 meaning is so you need to have the effective depth 492 mm in order to take care of this moment which is 200 kilonewton meter okay so this was the first part of the problem to find out the effective depth now you have to find out the area of steel for area of steel then again you have to go to page number 96 so from page number 96 is 456 2000 now again if you open this page number 96 so now you can use this b formula because mu is known fy is known d is also known because this was the first criteria we had to find out effective depth in this particular problem now d is known the only unknown is ast okay so you can use this formula so i will copy this formula mu equals to 
uh, 0.87 FYST D 1 minus AST FY BD FCK so you need to have IS4056 whenever you solve this uh, RCC problem because it is impossible to uh, uh, remember these formulas okay directly you can copy from your IS4056 then the next uh, step is to just substitute the values now MU was 200 into 10 raised to 6 0.87 FY is 415 AST is unknown D is 492 1 minus AST into 415 300 492 into 20 so this is the unknown equation now you have to just simplify these equations i will keep this 200 into 10 raised to 6 as it is okay so if you solve this actually it will be 2 so this into 1 will be first term and this term into next term will be the second term in the equation so the first term means 0 0.87 into 415 into 492 into 1 it will uh, you will be getting 17 seven six three six point six ast so this ast will be as it is next minus so you have to first uh, simplify this 415 divided by 300 into 492 into 20 so you'll be getting one term that term you have to multiply with this whole term okay if you do this you will be getting minus this minus sign will be here so it will become 24.972 AST square. Why AST square? Because there are two AST. AST into AST, AST square. Okay. So, substitute these terms to this side. So, 24.972 AST square minus, this term will go this side, right? Minus 17763.6 AST. So, this will be positive because it is on the same side. Plus 200 into 10 raised to 6 equals to 0 so this is your quadratic equation to make it simpler i will divide the whole equation by 24.972 okay divide the whole equation by 24.972 so it will become ast square minus 7113 0.43 AST plus 8.008 into 10 raised to 6 equals to 0. Okay, so this is no, nothing but the quadratic equation. So you have to solve with the basic formula. Therefore, the basic formula is AST equals to minus B plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so this is the a term which is 1 b is minus 7113.43 c is plus 8.008 okay so when you substitute this with positive sign you will be getting ast equals to 5694 mm square with negative sign AST you will be getting 1403 mm square so you have to be careful now which AST to select okay uh, smaller or greater you have to always select the smaller ast because already you are designing it as under reinforced section okay so you cannot go for higher ast you have to always choose your lower ast that is nothing but 1403 mm square okay so now both the unknown things okay are uh, 
calculated okay so the first was d which is 492 mm and next is ast right that is 1403 mm square so now both the unknowns have been calculated so this is uh, what the procedure uh, that you can calculate the effective depth and the ast that is area of steel when the uh, width of the section is given and also the moment is given so there is one more method to find out the ast which is very simpler okay directly one equation will be there in that you have to substitute and you have to get the ast value so that particular thing we will see when we solve the design problems based on this beams singly reinforced beams okay so i hope you have understood this uh, type 2 analysis of singly reinforced beam if you have understood uh, like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe all about structural analysis and uh, design and also press the bell icon for the latest notifications of my videos in civil and structural engineering thank you friends